Toward the beginning of the film, we see a lot of prisoners at a most extreme level prison, attempting to advance out through a passage that they have dug. The arrangement sadly falls flat, so they return to something riskier. The prisoners assemble in the open field, face the monster wall close to them, and run at it at max throttle. The arrangement is to strike the wall on the double and break it into pieces. Following this, the film streaks back to a couple of months sooner. We are acquainted with the hero, an infamous and bold criminal named Chi Sung, who works for a rich tycoon named Kim. He is notorious for pounding, compromising and, surprisingly, killing individuals whenever required. At some point, Chi Sung is requested to take out a researcher named Choi, so he heads there alongside his posse. The elderly person asks for his life and even offers the pack a ton of money, however each and every one of them denies. At the point when Chi Sung gets exhausted, he jumps towards Choi with a blade and the screen blurs to dark. In the following scene, we get to realize that the criminals were shockingly caught by the police. Concerning the elderly person, he has endured the death endeavor with just minor wounds. An examiner corners Chi Sung and powers him to uncover the name of his employer. He even vows to lessen his sentence to only two years in return for the priceless data, in any case, Chi Sung will not open his mouth. He would prefer to pass on then rodent his manager out. Finally, the case goes to a meeting and Chi Sung is condemned to eight years in a maximum level jail. While his chief, Kim is glad for his dependability, he is likewise anxious that sometimes Chi Sung could open his mouth. Afterward, when Chi Sung is being accompanied to his cell, he hears somebody whistling and quickly remembers it. Instantly, he wards off the watchmen, breaks free from them and races to where the sound is coming from. Chi Sung is stunned and pleased when he sees that his dearest companion and old partner, Sun Tan, is as yet alive. It turns out the last option had been condemned to a capital punishment a couple of years prior for killing somebody. Afterward, the two make up for lost time in the jungle gym and think back about their life as a youngster. Before long Tan additionally asks about his family, and when he discovers that his folks have died, he is despondent. Regardless, he is confident that sometime in the future, he will escape this barren spot. During the midday break, Chi Sung meets a few different detainees who have heard accounts of his boldness and faithfulness. They vow to assist him with anything he needs in the jail. However, the gathering's transformation is stopped when the neighborhood menace group shows up there and cautions the novices to stay silent. Chi Sung gazes at the pioneer for some time, yet he doesn't respond right now. Somewhere else, Kim goes to meet Choi at the clinic and recommends that they carry on with work together. The last option is uninformed that he was nearly killed by a similar individual sitting close to him, so he consents to the arrangement. However, he has one catch though. Since he was embarrassed by Chi Sung prior, he needs him dead. Thus, Choi requests that Kim kill the famous criminal before the week's over. Hearing this, Kim is trapped in a serious situation. On one hand, Chi Sung is his trusted associate and then again, he needs to get it done at any expenses. After a touch of pondering, he ultimately goes with the subsequent choice and consents to kill his own right-hand man. Later he visits Chi Sung in the jail and erroneously guarantees him that he is giving his very best to secure his delivery. Our hero rapidly gets involved with the misleading and becomes glad that his supervisor really focuses on him. He then discovers that Sun Tan is fit as a fiddle in the jail. For specific reasons, this doesn't fulfill Kim, showing that the two had a hamburger in the past of some kind or another. Meanwhile, we are acquainted with another of Chi Sung's dear companions and individual gangster, Ju Yong. He visits Chi Sung's home and informs his folks about the new turns of events. Shockingly, the old couple are not amazed by any stretch of the imagination, since their child was consistently an infamous crook. As the three keep visiting, we are shown an old picture on the wall, which reveals that Ju Yong, Chi Sung, and Sun Tan have been our dearest companions since adolescence. They grew up together, and became gangsters together. 
Back in the jail, when every one of the gatekeepers are away, Shi Sung's fellow prisoners uncover a mystery burrow they've been searching for quite a long time. They are really arranging a jailbreak. Shi Sung is both intrigued and enticed by their arrangement, however he realizes that a little mix-up can prompt desperate consequences. I in another cell, the gathering of menaces fiercely goes after a blameless prisoner named Moon Su. The next morning at breakfast, Chi Sung sees Moon Su's swollen and tear-streaked face and feels an ache of compassion. Unfit to endure the shamefulness any longer, he shockingly fights back against the harassers by conveying a serious beating to them. The wide range of various prisoners can watch in wonderment as a solitary man brings down a whole posse. However Chi Sung's activities gain him a ton of appreciation, they likewise land him in isolation. Somewhere else, the researcher, Choi, takes Kim to his industrial facility and discovers that he's separating a lethal serum from an uncommon Japanese plant. This serum can kill individuals in a moment, with no aggravation or uneasiness. Choi offers to offer the serum to Kim, however with one essential condition, Chi Sung must be killed first. That evening, a gathering of men savagely attack Chi Sung's folks home, fiercely beat them and take off. In the first part of the day, one of Kim's cohorts moves toward the harassed detainee, Moon Su, and offers him cash to kill Chi Sung. Nonetheless, Moon Su feels a feeling of obligation towards Chi Sung and is conflicted between his unwavering ness and the enticement of fast money. Somewhere else, Kim's opponent, Bang Shik, visits him. It is uncovered that he became debilitated after Chi Sung wounded him in the leg multiple times, so presently, he's looking for vengeance. As the primary demonstration of reprisal, he sent his men over to Chi Sung's home and severely went after his folks the previous evening. Ju Young, who is likewise there, finds out about this and quickly hurries to the old couple. Luckily, they are still breathing, so Ju Young takes them to the emergency clinic for clinical consideration. The next day, Chi Sung's sweetheart visits him in the jail and discovers that his folks had been gone after. The staggering news overwhelms Chi Sung in a hurricane of feelings, however much to his dismay that more difficulty is going to come his direction. That night, as he is gradually strolling towards his cell, Moon Su out of nowhere shows up from behind and wounds him. In any case, rather than retaliating, Chi Sung keeps quiet and advises him to take off. Maybe he is gradually going to die, however just under the wire, a few gatekeepers track down him and rush him to the 